One thing I've always wanted to ask you, do people always expect you to still look the same as you did when you were very famous in 74? Yeah, actually, it depends really because if it's an older person, you know, like they still expect me <laughs> to be exactly the same. <laughs> or they'll say, I remember you on Opportunity Knocks and they'll come up and, you know, grab hold of my cheek or something and pat me on the head and it's a bit... <laughs> But you get used to it. I mean, I, I have a, a mixture of followings, like, uh, you know, right through from older generation to the younger. Because they were such exciting times, because you did a lot of firsts, didn't you? The youngest on the top of the pops and... and That's right, and yes, and yeah. What are the greatest memories for you of those early days? I had a lot of good times, really. I mean, I did, like, the Palladium was absolutely something fantastic. When I heard that I was the youngest to appear on the Palladium, you know, it's a great feeling... I was very, you know, proud of it. And um, when I sort of met famous people like Frank Sinatra... and Tell us about that, because you went to America to appear in yeah. the show with him, didn't you? Yes, um, I, I didn't really... I, I was only about <laughs> 10, and I wasn't aware of how famous he was. In fact, I didn't really know who he was at all. <laughs> and my manager is a great fan of his, you know. She's absolutely besotted by him. And she, she was, you know, she said, Oh, goodness, there he is there. And I went up, you know, and I ran up to him and I just pulled his sleeve and I went, come and meet my manager. <laughs> and he just looked at me as if to say, how dare you? <laughs> but um, it was very nice. I had my picture taken with them and and that. And it was re looking back on it, it's, it's, it's a great thing to have done. But then I didn't realise it, you know. I expect you think about those days now and then. Was it? Were you sort of ready for it or did it really all happen too soon? I think it happened all very quickly. I, it didn't give me a chance to think what was happening. I was just sort of enjoying myself, you know, running, going here and going to this country and that country. And, you know, it was just, I'd never been off the island that I'd lived on and suddenly going to all these different countries. It was like a different world. I, totally. You know, I couldn't believe it. Then you sort of got onto your own television series. That must have been yeah. good through, wasn't it? Oh, it was. It was. I mean, I look back. It's very, very hard work, but it's it's good once you get into it because you feel then as if you've achieved something, and you can look at the end product and be quite proud. You know? When you you started off as a singer, have you ever had any sort of ambitions to to branch out a bit more? Um, I've been offered acting parts in that, but. When I was, that's when I was little, you know, and quite a few of them fell through or I was doing something else. But I've never really, I've never really tried anything. In my series, I've done little comedy sketches and acting bits and pieces. But, you know, I've never, I don't think um, I'd like to uh, try it. I might be too frightened <laughs> in case I, you know, I wasn't any good at acting or whatever, but... I suppose in the future, it would be nice maybe just to push myself a bit further and try it. I can remember watching you, your first reappearance after your illness and on television. That must have been something that was particularly special to you, it being accepted yeah. so much on your return. It was, because I, I wasn't sure myself whether I wanted to go back into it or not, you know. And I, I was sort of just testing my foot in the water again. And, um, you know, that was it was uh, an emotional experience, really, because... It felt strange going on stage after all that time and people accepting me and giving me a warm applause and that. Was it your own sort of decision to, to go back or yes. sort of people talked to you into... No, no, it was my own. I mean, it was very difficult for me to make because I'd come through such a lot, you know, and uh, I thought maybe it's show business has done this to me, but I, I really don't think it was because it's, it's in me to perform, you know. I've never, you know, hated it that much <laughs> or anything. I think when you discovered on TV... People sort of uh, have a great regard and feeling for you, don't they? Because they tend to think they've helped discover you in a way. I think so. Yeah, especially the older people. I think some of them still think I'm their little girl, you know. <laughs> it's nice, but, <laughs> you know, I don't mind it really. Would you do anything differently if you were back to those sort of days? I don't think. I, I, my manager was pretty good, you know, the way they handled me and that. I wouldn't have known where to start. <laughs> I just sat, I just sang when I was told to sing and just did what I was told to do, you know. 